Hello everyone, this is Shaded Masak. We're still in Mount Vo. Uh haven't gotten off this damn thing yet. I hope we will soon because I'm not too fond of it. Oh we're here now, so we're getting there, technically speaking. Oh yeah, there's a the good thing about this game is there isn't any random encounters, so Oh, she doesn't have any uh damn mid ether. Um Look up. There we go. Fire too. That's a very annoying attack. But at least, you know, won't kill me and as soon as I get the As soon as I get flare off I'll be okay. But because there's no um real random encounter so I can go back in um I'm gonna go back and um go to the save point and I'll meet you here in a moment. Right, we're back. Um been having some problem with it's suddenly going really slow and I had to restart the computer. It wasn't cooperating at all. I've also moved uh, my folder for recording videos over to my other hard drive, the D1 because there's less crap on that one. Um, so we're back where I was almost where we were and I just realized I'm an idiot because there's a save point right here. Pling. Let's save. There. Now we're going in the right direction. Um, I did go all the way over here and open the chest in the previous one but it was so horribly slow it was painful. Um, I'll just show you. Also, I ran all the way back to the other um, save point and I had to fight some more monsters, so I'll just show you what's changed. I've got, I think I've one more level up. Lucas got the time hat. It's just probably a hat with a clock on or something, considering how silly this game actually can be. And Kronos learned Confuse and has 910 points left to Luminaire. Yay! Um, let's see, she's still learning flare, she's got only got 400. And um, look, and Isla learned flame kick, which is basically put Isla on fire and kick things with it. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm just gonna head down here. Got a full ether. Doo -doo -doo. Magic tab! Magic tabby. Got oh, music changed and it got dark. Magical ta magic tabby obviously would be um McGonagall from Harry Potter. Yeah. This big cage is disappearing. This is pretty much one of my least fav favorite boss battles, but I can't remember why. I just remember the background and not liking it and I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Giga Gaia. I, will, I think I remember why I don't like it now. But we can only do it as long as it has both his hands, so obviously the priority here is to take out hands as quickly as possible. Actually, you know, Mega Bomb. Very many um, enemies, as I said earlier. A lot of the enemies in those games are three-part enemies, like this. Just get that one first. That's the attack arm, so if you can get that one out of the picture, that's a lot better. And we'll head for the defense arm next, because that one heals. Mega Bomb is a very good attack. Ah, water, no, I'm droning. Or melting. I suppose you could, should call Luca a witch. I mean, it's technically speaking not inaccurate. She's a ma female magic user, so she could be called a witch. But, you know, not that kind of witch. Um. 
I do love Mega Bomb, it's actually a very good attack. I'll just see if I can... Yeah, I could steal a speed tap from them. You can usually steal something from these enemies, so... And now that I've actually got Charm, I might as well use it. No, I want you to kiss people. Starting with Luka. Because Luka has the best attack at the moment. And then it starts restoring the arm, so I just need to be ready to... Cat attack. Uh, this arm first this time. I don't want the healing of what I've done yet. I don't have energy left to do. Napalm then. Megabomb does take a lot of... Um, Let's let the arm move. I'll leave with the other arm. Because it's a lot less dangerous without... That arm does still attack you. But the other one heals and I don't want it healing off what I've already done, so... You can have a mid ether, so I have you mega bomb away level again. This isn't a set... It's not... I haven't done Rock Throw yet, we'll do that. try that one. Bad metal, let's try Confuse. Mm, couldn't do it. Actually, that's not so bad idea. It does actually a lot of damage, it's hard to remember that. Um, yeah, this battle isn't exactly dangerous, I just, for some reason, I just don't like it. Never had. I can't do it because it's a too big a monster. I see. Oh well. I really need to go get her uh, the gold earrings. Why do I keep doing that? I'm not trying. I was going to use cat attack. Because cat attack will do damage to him. Mm. Actually, look, uh, no. I laugh. You might as well do some use. that arm before it can do so. And like a lot of these battles, this, this takes a lot of time because, well, I'm an idiot. I've run out of things to say. Mega bump. It really eats my MP up immediately. But the uh, amount of damage it does is kind of worth it. And this time, actually use cat attack, will you? It does. Fi it takes 15 and the flare takes 20. But as soon as I get the um, epoch uh, upgraded a bit. There we go.
I could have done it already, but it would have remind it would have required a bunch of walking and um, I'm a little bit lazy. Hey, levels up. Now let's save the guru, who's apparently related to Ossi. And there's the cathedral team. I shall try to remember to link through the dark in this episode. Melchior, indeed I am Melchior. Have we met before? Can you tell anything about the Ocean Palace? Um, no. I see the Queen has degenerated to that good degree. The more the energy the Imamon machine absorbs, the further the Queen degenerates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous immortal Lavos. Yeah, Lavos is bad for you. And the mountain's coming down. And they're panicking. Can't blame them. That's gonna make a tsunami, actually. Oh well. Thankfully, the that's not a big deal when that falls down. The bigger things has to fall down to cause real trouble. Lava sleeps deep underground while uh, consuming the energy of this planet. If the Mammon Machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. As you remember, the Mammon Machine is currently up in the uh, palace, but they want to take it down to the Ocean Palace, which is under the water. Elder Shala is here. What? Shala is here? Yes. There's Shala. And, yeah, and Janus, because you know. Miserable place. Stop degrading yourself. We enlightened were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are in lava's control. I don't know what Janus is doing. Oh, it's a filthy hobby. Yes, you're a very rude child. After the mountain of Vaux fell, I thought it fell. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? Probably not. That no longer matters. The pa ocean palace is now operational. No, then all is lost. But without me, the mammon machine won't work. I've turned my back on that evil device. Yeah, it's not good bit that easy. I just kept the skyway open. Hurry, you must stop my mother. Why don't we keep it right there? And there comes Dalton. I really don't like Dalton. This is my dear. Your presence is required. We'll leave her alone. Yes, leave Charla alone or we will put you on fire. Well, we could. Really, it would have saved us so much trouble. Ooh. Oh, poor Janus. It's no wonder he's an asshole. They're not very nice to him. The Queen's a rude asshole to him, too. Melchior. I'm alright. But we must save Shala or else. Possible, even though it's coming from you, Margarine. The Queen's allowed to fulfill Ashima's. I mean, all life as we know is is doomed. Random commas. Well, he did. Balthazar did that too, so. Harris, you're willing to challenge the Queen? Yes, we'll challenge her to a game of chess, apparently. <laughs> no, we don't even know your name. So I'm use Redstone. Help Chrono. No, I like you. What are you talking about? Come on, Chrono. Take this with you. It's made from the same redstone as the Mama machine. Without it, with it you can destroy the machine. It's also made from the same stuff as the Masa Moon, which, you know, Ruby Nath. Mm. Dreamstone. Um, now, where was the shop? It's Miss Sharla alive. They're very concerned about Sharla. So Janus is headed towards the skyway to uh, save Miss Sharla. Yeah, uh, Janus, please. He's such a sweet child sometimes. He's really... He's a little asshole sometimes, but he's at the same time... Yeah, I've already got... most of the stuff for the team. So I'm not gonna bother with that, but I want some... Um, I'm gonna buy a bunch of eaters. I'm gonna buy a bunch of full tonics because I'm going to go after some rather annoying enemies now. 
Um, ah, sorry, itchy nose. Let's go chase down Janus, I guess. He's very devoted to his sister. He's sad life, though. He can't really do much about, you know, anything. He is just a little kid at this point. I can't even remember. Can I save up there or do I have to go down here I want to do it? Anyway, I'm gonna have to move, so that's okay. I can save when I get over there. There's a lot of running up and down in this, and do I have a timer on today? Yes I do, and it's almost off. That's good then. When we get to the ocean pal- oh, not the ocean palace, but we'll run off to the palace part and then, um... We'll leave it off there, I think. Yeah. Here goes the bell. But I'll, I'll just go run up to the castle part first, because it's kind of boring and next episode should probably start but on a let's just see if I can save up here yes I can but I should be able to at least on the world map magic never trust magitech it turns people insane just look at Kafka oh dear which, by the way, incidentally also has floating continents. Well, one. Insert. What lies beyond? Then we're gonna leave it off here, and we'll be back next time, chasing down Queen Seal for her heinous crimes against nature, I suppose.